Aloy, fancy seeing you all the way out here. Aren't you going to miss your battle? There's still some time, and I had things left to do. Lots of moving parts to you aren't there. I like that. You're welcome here, though I can't make you as welcome as I'd like. We're being pressed by machines on one side, bandits on the other. So I've been trying to finish up this beauty, to settle our territory disputes. Could use your help. What is this place, Petra? The Free Heap. Free because we answer to no one but ourselves, the metal and the dust storms. And the heaps back there, a scrapyard piled by Osram past from the leavings of the old ones. Breathe it in, get the smell in you. Smoke and sweat. <laughs> Living in the trees has dulled your senses. I could taste five metals just in my spit. So all this scrap was left by the ancients. Was it a battlefield? Hmm, stockpile maybe, or a rubbish heap. Packed so tight it all fused together. Those old ones tossed away more than we'll ever know. But don't you want to know? To understand what it all meant? Nah. Some delvers spend their whole lives trying to make sense of it. Not me. What it means is there's good smelting here. Yeah, don't need to understand a forest to chop down the trees for your arrows. If you did, you'd know Ridgewood makes better shafts. <laughs> Careful, you'll scald your tongue with that fire. I don't pine for the old ones. They had their time. Their works are finished. All their inventions are under mountains now, rust on bones. My sisters and brothers of the Forge will make a new world. So you're a Forge woman. You run the Forge and the town too. The town is the Forge, and everyone pulls their weight. The right way to do it, without all the Eeldermen having their say. If we were back in the claim, Osram land, three days argument, anytime someone wants to hammer in a bolt. Sounds infuriating. Oh, <laughs> it is. But we like arguing. You need hot air to keep a furnace burning. Still, some traditions aren't up for debate. I would have ended up Petra Forge wife. <laughs> How do you like the sound of that? <laughs> I don't think it fits you. Good answer. That's why I left. I was steel young from the forge then. Could make anything of myself before I cooled in my ways. So you left your homeland and came here? Went to Meridian. Everyone does. Joined the work gangs on the Great Elevator. We finished just as the Mad King got a taste for blood. So I spat and swore I'd find a place for everyone who stuck with me. We lived job to job until the war ended. Then we came upon this old Osirum camp. Long abandoned, metal piled up high. A place to start again. A place to leave my mark. <laughs> when I was your age, I thought the lasting mark came from the hardest strike. I suppose you know better now that you're an elder. <laughs> Trade secret. This weapon you're working on, it's like the cannons back at Meridian. Uh-huh. Was glad to get reacquainted with those guns. I've been building this one from memory. In the hands as much as in the head. Like you. You craft your own ammunition, I can tell. Little scars on your fingertips. Making this beast, same principle, just bigger and louder. You said you're being pushed out of your territory. Out of the junk heap. A pack of scrappers came snuffling in just after we opened a good seam of weapon parts. And now we've got a standoff with a gang of bandits at our foundry. They blockaded us out. They're sitting on our power cells. Guess they like shiny things. Well, to finish up our defenses, I need those parts and cells. In and out job. Keep your hands clean. I'm not afraid of getting them dirty. <laughs> Aren't you a blast of air from the bellows? me.
working all day, and by the forge, I believe I've earned a drink or two. Here's what I don't get about this thing. All these fancy decorations. If I had right of rule... Good defense. Better spot all their sentries before I look for the power cells. to get into the scrapper's run and find those weapon parts. You'll get yours when the clan blows in. Town's good as torched. find something Petra can use, fast.
been in the scrapyard long enough. Petra, I have the parts you wanted, but there are more bandits coming. The rest of their clan. They want to take the town. Do they now? Hold this thing steady while I give it a voice. Then we'll let it talk terms for us. Now take it up and brace yourself. Don't press it against your hips if you ever want to use those for... All right, all right, I got it. Ugh, heavy... All I can do to hold it up. Ugh. Come on, then, if you're coming. Run this Fort Dirt Town red, boys. Hey, <laughs> manners. <laughs> She's working well so far. on the gun. No complaints about the gunner. <laughs> Anyone but a bandit clan would pull back now. Come on, you fuckheads! They only have one cannon! Under the bridge, Aloy. Bring it down on it. What? It's your bridge. Bridge is coming down. Bring it down. hurt from all that. That's interesting. Need a leather strap to bite down on, perhaps. We'll give those wretches a sky burial. That's fancy talk for leaving them out for the birds. More than they'd have done for us if this thing didn't work. Uh, if it didn't work? It could have not worked? It isn't finished. That's why we're testing it. Now, now, you had your Nora toys to fight with. Saying goes, you can only trust metal. But my trust was placed well in you. You're owed, Aloy Machine Hunter. I won't forget it. <sighs> Neither will I, Petra. Oh, I still feel the lightning snap in my hair. Damn, 
Are you looking for something? Can't see hide nor hair of my friends. They went after a herd of behemoths, and now they're overdue. Only seasoned hunters go after machines like that. Can't they handle themselves? It's not them I'm worried about. We need special cables from those behemoths to keep our cannons firing. If they miss the herd, Petra will hand me my hide. I never should have agreed to that trade. What trade did you agree to? Petra assigned me and Bellagia the task of getting cables from that herd. But Zor Grease and Bellagia are meant for each other, like hammer and steel. They just don't realize it. So I agreed to trade duties with him to, you know, hurry things along. Didn't Bellagia wonder why? It was her idea. Now I'm worried it worked too well. If they're so busy snogging that they missed the herd, it'll be my skin on the line. Where did you last see them? Right here, before they left. Off they went, arguing the whole way. What were they arguing about? How best to follow the herd. Sure, Grease is good with a bow, but he could get lost in his own home. What have I done? Why not explain what happened to Petra? If you want to tell Petra, be my guest. Maybe she'll blow her top at you and tire herself out before she gets to me. I would run off in search of them, but since Jor Grease took my place, I have his spot on guard duty. I can look for your friends. They were headed to the Arch, northwest of here, to watch for the herd. I hope they've found if we miss- Let's keep that as a last resort. Opening his own shop in Mainz. Oh, he's so pale. A few minutes at the forge. <sighs> I don't need a forge for that. Mmm, what's lit your fire? I can handle it. No doubt you can, but if it involves free heap. <sighs> you sent two hunters after a herd. They've gone missing. Well, they couldn't have. Caleb could find a needle in a slag heap. Unless he didn't go. Careless, two-fisted smelter. Traded places with Jagri. By five. What are you gonna do about this trade? Waste of Caliph's time and mine. Jagri's and Baladia, just like in the forge. You let the weight of the hammer do the work, not the. You're not angry? Oh, I'll make him sweat it. But one thing I've learned: some things will happen no matter what you. Why did you need Behemoth? Those cables make the best fuses for our cannons. Even so, they wear out fast, and we our guns keep us strong and free. You could trade for them. Some supplies we need to get on our own, or we're dependent on others. That's a bird. But you asked me for help. <laughs> Some bird. Why the urgency with this herd? Once that herd hits the cauldron, it'll be out of our reach, and another won't come. We need those cables. If you find those two, send them back in one piece. If you bring me behemoth, careful.
this far. I've been wandering for hours. That's because I couldn't concentrate with you hammering on. Someone's coming. Are you Jaw Grease and Balaja? Caliph sent me to look for you. He did? Now Petra must know we lost the herd. No. I don't care who lost it. Just, why don't I track it down? I, I couldn't let you do that. It was my responsibility, not yours or his. We saw three behemoths and some shell walkers in the herd. It won't be easy alone. I can sneak up on the herd better without conversation. Arguing, you mean. I'll go with you alone. Jorgris can ask his incessant questions to the wind. Why did- Enough! Jagris, Baladia asked you to switch with Caliph so she could spend time with you. What? And if I heard right, Jagris led you off course so he could spend more time talking with you. Uh, really? Now you talk it out while I get those behemoth cables. Where did you last see the herd? Oh, uh, up on that ridge. And take some arrows with you. <sighs> Thanks. Got it. You've got those behemoth cables, don't you? I knew you'd come through. And Jagris and Baladia should be along. 
eventually. Mmm, we've been expecting you ever since they came back. Whatever you did, it worked. Now they're off snogging in the shed. Finally. She put me on guard duty for a month, so I'm glad it was worth it. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I see you survived their bickering. Uh, barely. I could say they struggle in love because they're young, but the old rarely fare better. Thank you, Aloy, for enduring them. We may not see Jor Gris and Balaja before tomorrow at this rate. Jor Gris and Balaja owe me after all this. Oh, you too.
Instagram.
Someone's got their attention. Traveling a bit. Tuck that away.
going down fast. Here, I can look into the past with my focus. A pocket shit storm tour, day eight. Holy crap. That glitched out lifter that crushed your arm and clavicle. Back before you met Wyatt. That was in a mine back beyond these falls. Oh, what a punk I was.